Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be making two different wall decor pieces using a Dollar Tree foam board and some mirrors. I'm just tracing my mirror with my silver Sharpie and then cutting it out with my X-Acto knife. Now I'm gluing my mirror to the foam board piece. Now I'm cleaning my mirror off and then I'm going to use these seven mirrors to finish decorating and this is looking a little beat up because I do reuse some of my items. So of course out of the seven mirrors I glued one to the center and then I'm gluing the remaining six around the edges. I know it looks like these mirrors just will not hold up just because they're hanging off but in a second I will show you guys what I did to secure the mirrors. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. So now I'm gonna flip it over to add more glue and some wood blocks to help stabilize slash secure it. If you are going to recreate this project, then you can add more wood blocks to secure it even more, but I thought one wood block was just fine. Now we moving on to the glam part. I got these acrylic gems, these circle mirror tiles that I purchased from Amazon, and also these spoons that I used in a previous project. I'm starting off by laying out the gems in the circle mirror tiles before gluing them down so that way everything is glued down the way I want it. I'm using a small amount of glue because I don't want the hot glue giving my gems that cloudy look. I decided to add gems to the center mirror as well. Now I'm using more mirror tiles and the spoons to finish decorating my mirrors and I'm laying everything out before gluing it down so that way it's exactly how I want it. I'm also gluing spoons to the center. Now I'm gluing four spoon handles to each mirror on the outside perimeter. Once I was done with this last step, I removed any excess glue strings, cleaned all my mirrors off, and just like that, this is how it turned out. I love how my new wall mirror turned out. It looks very expensive, but yet I created it using cheap items. Everything you guys see here is from the Dollar Tree except for the circle mirror tiles. Comment down below and let me know what y'all think. My new wall mirror can also be used as a centerpiece or whatever your heart desires. Comment down below and let me know how you will use this mirror. On to project number two, I'm using that same foam board and some more of those circle mirrors to trace and cut out more shapes. I cut out seven shapes in total and as you guys can see the edges is all messed up so I'm going to take my sander and sand all the sides. 
by me sanding the sides it will give my shapes a more smoother cleaner look since they will be showing and i'm using this black acrylic paint to cover all the sides now that my foam pieces are dry i'm gonna glue a mirror to each foam piece Now I'm placing my mirrors in a zigzag slash swirly shape. Now I'm flipping them over to glue them together. To make sure everything is secure and sturdy, I'm adding these popsicle sticks to the back. Now I'm flipping my wall decor piece back over and I'm gonna decorate with more spoons, gems, and mirror towels. I'm laying out my mirror towels before gluing them down. I'm gluing these silver beaded necklaces around the entire perimeter of my wall decor piece. Now I'm taking five spoons in a gem to create a flower and I'm going to repeat these same steps for all the other mirrors. For this last step, I'm gluing six gems to one side of each mirror. Once I was done with this step, I removed any excess glue strings, cleaned all my mirrors off, and then I had something that looked like this. Look how cute this is, y'all. It's giving off spring vibes for sure, and I'm undecided on which project I like best. But tell me what y'all think. Please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.